Hey guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising for the weeks, for the remainder of uh, January 2021. Um, so I want to thank all of you for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully uh, you'll get some clarity. Also, if you guys are wanting to book a personal or private reading, uh, be sure to uh, check the description box below for ways to reach me. If you want to reach me by phone, um, make sure that you're registered at Bill Per Call and request a call back. And if I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven day time frame. Um, also, be sure to check out Patreon because um, the Venus sign readings are there now, um, as well as additional content that you may enjoy. And those of you that are wondering, this is the Super Lu oh, God, Super Lunaris, um, Super Lunaris, yes, a tarot deck that I'm using today. And don't ask me why, if you're cross-watching, why I just keep stumbling. I don't know. I just, I'm weird. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We have the central issue, Heart of the Matter is the Four of Wands. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Five of Wands. We have the Ace of Cups. The Three of Cups. Seven of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles. All right, so I feel like you guys are like going to have some sort of established um, relationship or something's going to be established maybe as far as how someone feels. Um, if you're already in a relationship, looks like things are getting off to a good start. Uh, maybe you guys are ready to move forward to the next step in the process. So you could be moving in together. Um, maybe you're purchasing a house. For the first time, definitely looks like there could be some some real estate going on. So maybe you're uh, viewing properties together. Um, but I feel like you're going to have stability. I feel like two people are making promises. There is a willingness to work together. Um, there is also trust being established. Yeah. So I, I feel like this is, uh, you're going to make some sort of a connection with someone where trust is being established. I do feel like you are going to come out triumph, triumphant in your love situation. Now also, let's say this is something different going on. Let's say you haven't necessarily met anyone or you're not in a relationship, but you've been trying to move on from someone. This is a good indication, too, that you'll be able to move on from someone. Maybe you're now even ready to start dating. Um, so it's very possible that you're willing to be social um, and connect with people. Maybe even your friends or family members are trying to introduce you to new people. And it just looks like you're willing to give it a try. Now, something's also coming up where it looks like maybe uh, some sort of celebration or birthday is coming up. I don't know if you're being invited to someone's party. Any event that comes up, um, I would go because it looks like you could end up meeting someone at this event. Um, maybe you also have a mutual friend. If you're going to uh, some sort of wedding event, it does look like the seating arrangements. Like if you're sitting in a single section, there may be an attractive person there that you're interested in. Um, but it, it looks like bonding. There's a lot of bonding and trust uh, being established here. Um, I feel like you're also cheering to new beginnings, um, cheering to a fresh start. Um, I feel like you're also understanding self-love and that also might be something that is very attractive to other people. 
if there has been any fighting or resistance, because it does look like something's been going on where maybe two people have been attracted to each other, but they have both been resistant toward each other, or fighting or bickering or trying to push each other away. Um, I feel like you're going to move past that and it's like, you know what, I'm tired of fighting. Uh, I'm tired of fighting what I feel. And I feel like you are being led to just kind of trust this journey that you're on and play it by ear. And I feel like there's this willingness to do so. So I'm kind of getting like a why not, like why not, like let's see. Mm. Now also looks like if you're in a long distance relationship um, and there's been trouble getting to see each other, definitely looks like someone is um, going to be able to make it to you or you're able to make it to them. So um, either way, it looks like some sort of visitor coming to the home. Mm, this also is good for those of you who have, who have been sexually frustrated. I do feel like for some of you, there is going to be some sexual healing. You are going to be able to release that buildup. Um, so it's definitely looking like some sort of orgasmic moment. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, for some of you, maybe you're just having to do it yourself. <laughs> but if you do happen to meet someone, it's a strong possibility. Or if it's someone that you are already connected with, but it, you guys just haven't been connecting like that. Strong possibility that, you know, you guys go there. Um, also, something could start off as a one night stand, but end up becoming something more permanent, long term. So, yeah, I, I feel like so far there's a lot of positive messages coming through like this first week. You guys are on a good path. I feel like you're going to be happy about um just allowing yourself to go with the flow of things. And I also feel that spirit had to force you to do something or force you to come out of your comfort zone. And because of that, I feel like you're going to be rewarded. Um, hmm. I feel that you would be standing out from the rest if there is a situation where there is a dating situation going on and you know maybe you are aware that your love interest is talking to other people i feel like you're the one that's standing out or if you are the one dating multiple people there is one person in particular where you're like oh that person has got my attention they are standing out that's my type you know that's what i want and i kind of feel like that's what you're gonna get there's someone standing out and that's what you want. Um, definitely seems like you are being pursued. Someone sees what they want. They're like, this is, you're the person that I want. You're the person I'm interested in. And that's what they're coming for. I feel like someone also has everything under control. Someone may have a fresh outlook on relationships in life. Definitely could be some sort of engagements coming up for you guys, um, especially more so to those of you that are already in established relationships. Could be an engagement coming up um, or the actual wedding. Mm. Excuse me, it looks too like maybe you guys are following through with family tradition or something. It, it looks like it runs in a family. Yeah, so someone is like upholding the family legacy. Definitely could be some sort of communication coming through for you all. Flirtation, Cupid's arrows is definitely sh being sent out and striking people. <laughs> um, I feel like there's going to be a lot of 
self-expression um, and then maybe getting responses too. So let's say this is about you deciding to post some sort of profile up somewhere. I feel like you would have a lot of people, a lot of people's attention. A lot of people would be interested. Um, others of you, if it's just talking about one person in particular, does it matter? Um, it looks like there's going to be a lot of communication. Even if something is a new love, it seems to be progressing pretty quickly. Um, it's like, you know, or going in reverse. It's like, you know, how traditionally, you know, you go out, you court. <laughs> that's the old fashioned word, but that's the word that came to my mind. Courting, dating, um, then the engagement, then the marriage, then the baby. So something does look like it's going in reverse. Um, not saying that everybody's, you know, having a baby, but that, that the, of course, the sex part, and that's normal anyway, but it just seems like that was fast. Like we went from zero to a hundred in a matter of, you know, months or weeks. So something does seem like it happens pretty quickly. Hmm, I almost feel too like maybe something could be happening as soon as eight days to eight weeks. Now, the only thing that is troubling is this energy. There is some sort of deceptive energy. Um, it could be deceptive in a sense that someone is trying to play matchmaker. It's like they aren't telling you that they're trying to introduce you to someone, but that's the only way they could get you to talk to this person. Um, also looks like there could be uh, some love triangle. So you're connecting with someone and you feel like this person is where you belong, but they're in a relationship. Especially since it looks like you know, there is a decision or choice that needs to be made. It's like, who will who will it be? Who will you decide? Um, but it does look like any love connections that you have, it is it has a co higher calling or serves a higher purpose. Mm. Also, looks like someone is leaving out clues. For you to follow. Hmm. Like you may be getting lured. Lured into something. I feel like before you make some sort of decision. You are trying to really focus on yourself. And understand um, what's best for you. You're definitely checking astrology charts to find out, you know, is this the one or is it time? Is this the one I should, is this what I should do? Something does seem faded or destined, so. And it also looks like some prior decision, something was already set up. So the setup already took place and now is a matter of everything just playing out. So because a decision has already been made in the past, it's catching up to you now. Mm, so even if you are entering some sort of new relationship, it's possible that maybe you've already met this person or like communication has already been established with this person. Um, but I feel like you are allowing things to just kind of play out. It's showing that things will, you know, will run much smoother if you don't fight what is happening. You could be dealing with um, a Virgo, Gemini, uh, Taurus, or Capricorn, or any sign, but those are the ones that are showing out.
Yeah, I feel like something new. There's something new is getting ready to happen. There's a new beginning. New opportunity. Something is maybe what you prayed for. You've been praying for something. And now it's playing out. So it looks like something is guiding you towards either another air sign or water sign. But I feel like once that has once that interaction has happened, there's going to be a moment of silence while you sort things out. I kind of feel like universe is like get ready for what for the next wave because there is another wave coming in. I feel like something was just like phase one and now it's like get ready for phase two. Yeah, definitely looks like there's a soul contract playing out. Um, and I feel that something may start, uh, like I said, uh, between uh, four and eight weeks. But especially once we enter Aquarius season, you also may have been having some sort of dreams or, or premonitions coming to you to confirm this. Someone has, I feel like they're trying to communicate with you secretly or in mysterious ways. It also looks like you're going to be happy with uh, whoever you're communicating with there's a mutual attraction it does look like you guys try to ignore one another at first or try to avoid this connection yeah I feel like you tried to close someone out or avoid avoid talking to them I also feel like someone is trying to throw you off. Someone is not ready for you to know how they feel about you or vice versa. So I feel like someone's going to try and throw you off the trail or you might try and throw someone off. But overall, I just feel like there is some sort of connection that's getting ready to be established with you guys. So get ready to move into phase two all right hopefully the message has resonated feel free to leave your comments don't forget to like share and subscribe cindy love and grace